Hi guys, it's Lauren, and I'm going to talk about Dakota's vet trip because you guys asked for an in-depth video on what's wrong with Dakota, so here it is. People on Instagram has been asking me so much to, like, notify them. Someone even gave me their kick, and they're like, keep me updated, which I didn't really because at the time I was too worried about Dakota to text or be on my phone. I had to be with my guinea pig. So... I'm sorry about that, whoever that was, I that I didn't kick you. I was busy. Um, so, and I realize I give you guys quite a scare on Instagram because some of you guys, like, on Instagram don't really watch my videos. And, um, a lot of people are like, wait, what's happening? What's going on? And stuff. You guys were, like, freaking out, but, yeah, it's all good. So, on Friday night, I noticed this in my guinea pig's cage. Blood. Urine. I dabbed it on this though. And I realized one of them has uh, either, like, I don't know what it was. I just thought it was a, some kind of sickness. So I split them up. And then Dakota went to the bathroom. And I found out he was our victim. Since he has the, um, it's not really showing up true to color, but it's brown blood pee. It, it's looking quite white on camera but it's really not so then I split them up like I said and they tore it down together because they're evil not really but yeah and my mom searched up and we thought it was either kidney stone or like some kind of bladder stone or um a UTI which is urinary tract infection and Dakota again yesterday peed pink bloody pee that those little speckles are actually um, pieces of poop, so no worries there. Um, so we went to the doctor as soon as we could. She said what we thought too. It's either a urinary tract infection or some kind of bladder stone or kidney stone. So, of course, she took x-rays just to make sure it wasn't a kidney stone. And x-rays did not show any kidney stones or bladder stones which will be, if they, if they do have them, it'll be like white little speckles in the x-ray. And all it just looked like was inside of a guinea pig. And it was nice and normal. And he was breathing fine and everything. So he was all fine. And um, she basically said either he passed a kidney bladder slash bladder stone on himself. Like by himself. Or he um, has a, had a UTI. Um, he's peeing normal now, so we didn't have to worry about that, because when we got there, he peed in his carrier, and it was normal, so I don't know what happened, but we still took him just in case, and so she gave us antibiotics, and once I'm done with these pills, she said he won't need it anymore since he's already fine stuff, but the antibiotics look like this, they're just tablets, and he will not take them for me because he is defiant, and they probably don't taste very good. So I mixed them up with baby food and I had to force feed with a this because he did not like it still. And I'm like, hey mom, do you have like syringes or something that I could actually like use to force feed? Because I didn't want to stick a stick down his throat. That's disgusting. So um, she actually had a huge box of syringes. So like brand new in case syringes and stuff. So I just got one. Um, so... I'm basically going to take baby food and mash this pellet into um, dust and then I just syringe it up like that and then squirt it in his mouth. So it's pretty simple and easy. I'm also, he's on Benny Back Plus um, just because I feel like this thing is a miracle worker. It works perfectly when they're on antibiotics and stuff. This stuff is amazing to give them while they're on that. Um, it really helps them and everything. And also, whenever my guinea pigs are sick, I sprinkle this over their food, even if they're not on antibiotics. And when Theodore was sick, it always would work with him. Like, when Theodore would have colds a lot, this would always work with him. And so, I definitely recommend that you guys get this. And if you have any more questions or anything that I possibly didn't really tell, you can leave them in the comments down below. And Dakota's being dominant now. But, yeah, so thank you guys for all your thoughts and prayers and everything because it really helped. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.